All right, all right. Hello, hello. I'm Anthony, and welcome back to Yoruba Day, the channel that is for West Africa business, personal development, anything that deals with West Africa. This is the channel for it. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about ways you can improve on your communication skills. Uh, other than just reading books about it, uh, it's good to uh, know how to speak to people and know how to, especially if you're trying to boost up your um, your professional career. Knowing how to speak effectively in front of people is always a good skill to have. It can make you more money, even on the side, if you want to do it as a freelance, give speeches, anything like that. It's always good to know how to communicate. And also in your personal life, uh, when just dealing with relationships with friends and families, dating, anything like that, if you know how to speak well, then usually the results from that uh, turn out to be really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the points. And of course, in the end, I'm going to share a story that uh kind of summarizes everything that i talk about in this video so let's get into it so the first thing you want to do is uh, engage in active listening uh, start by just uh becoming an active listener so this means just giving your full attention to the speaker and uh, showing empathy uh, asking clarifying questions that's a good one always try to ask questions to clarify that you're on the same page as the uh, what the person is uh, speaking and conveying uh, it's just a foundational skill that uh, it's very much needed and a lot of people don't don't do it uh, usually when we hear certain words or when we hear someone speak we kind of interpret it we, we interpret it in our own thoughts and then we kind of give our own spin to it so this is how we can start having misconnection issues but uh, as someone is speaking it's good to summarize everything that they said so that you're on the same page so you can say okay so if i'm understanding you this is an example uh if you're saying it to a speaker so if I understand you correctly, you said this, 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 this because of this. Is that right? And then you wait for the speaker to acknowledge or just confirm, yes, this is right. Or they can say, no, this is what I was trying to say. This is the meaning of what I was trying to say. So it's good to be an active listener and ask questions. And the next thing you can do is join Toastmasters uh, or similar groups that uh, basic Toastmasters is just a group that helps people that are afraid of public speaking they practice their public speaking. So it can be a small intimate group and they'll talk about dis different strategies and different tips that they can do to develop their uh, public speaking. So, and usually just like local cl clubs in the US, local clubs all around where you have that opportunity opportunity to do it. You could go on meetup.com and look for those Toastmaster groups. So, and usually everyone in those groups, they're all on the same level and they're trying to get better at speaking. So yeah, there's gonna be shy people, but just stepping out your comfort zone to do something new, is always gonna be good. Uh, next thing, number three, uh, practice your daily conversation skills, co conversational uh, skills. So this means just striking up conversation with colleagues. If you're waiting in line for something, maybe kind of striking up a conversation with a, a, a stranger or someone that's waiting in line with you. Um, maybe you get to the front of Starbucks, maybe striking up a small conversation with a barista, wh whatever it is, you want to keep practicing your conversational skills as much as possible. That's the only way you're going to get better. Just You just got to keep doing your reps, get your reps in. So for uh, use video recording, so uh, record yourself speaking in uh, various situations. This allows you to just review yourself, listen to how you speak, like doing YouTube videos. Like, doing YouTube videos for me really helped me to see like my cadence, like how do I look like when I do speak and I, and I do say certain words or stuff that I do, I just do automatically. I start picking up on that. Uh, if, if I say I'm um a lot, that helps. It helps me with that. Like, oh, I'm saying um, it doesn't sound too good. So uh, d uh, taking videos of yourself speaking can be a good way to uh, get better at it. And then you can also look at your body, uh, your body, uh, body language and your tone of voice and everything else and you could see where you can make adjustments uh, Number five you could do some role-playing so role-playing exercises with a partner say you about to go in for a deal or Just some type of meeting and just kind of acting out how you would respond if someone asks you a question It's a good way to go about it uh, I know lawyers do this type of thing where they try to act like they're the opposite of who they're representing and they try to pre prepare themselves for what the defense or their opponent is going to say. So they go back and forth and they will have people practice with them. So role playing is a good way to understand just from different perspectives, how how people like see a situation and understanding someone else's motivations and, and thoughts. Uh, 
And then number six, uh, seek uh, feedback. So a lot of us don't like to hear uh, neg negatives about us and it's just how we are. So, but you wanna really fight through and just uh, find people that can give you some honest feedback and not hold back, but also do it with some grace. So uh, encourage friends, colleagues, anyone that you know, uh, mentors, if you have mentors, to give a critique of uh, where you're good at, where your strengths are, where you need to work on. That can be very helpful. You do want to avoid these these common challenges. So the first one, fear of public speaking. Well, a lot of us have that fear when it first starts. Like I had that fear, especially in college when I had to give uh, speeches on a project that I was doing. Yeah, all of us, or not all of us, but a lot of us have that fear of speaking. So I would say just start small, maybe speak in front of two people, three people. I like meetup events a lot because it allows you to just come out your comfort zone, meet different people that you normally wouldn't meet in a regular setting. Uh, or you can even try doing it with uh, webinars, seminars, usually it's a few people. And just because it's, it's like a, it's just a screen speaking it, it it takes away the in my opinion it takes away the pressure of having someone in the same room as you so it can be a little bit easier if you're speaking in webinars or seminars or workshops or you're just expressing yourself that's one that's a small way that you can do to uh, start overcoming that fear and once you just look that fear in in, in in the face like head on and you just go for it anyway that fear is going to start to disappear another thing you want to um uh, or it's a co common challenge is uh, just expressing if you have difficulty expressing your ideas so a good way to do it is just um, if you're going to speak just kind of write down bullet points don't write down sentences write down bullet points of what you want to say and then it, it will just organize your thoughts into a systematic way of starting from the from the beginning all the way to the end so and, and uh, when you are speaking you can do those visual cues just once again don't write sentences you're not it's not going to come out right just write short bullet points just short a couple words that jogs your memory so this means you have to practice but um short bullet points that jogs your memory and then and then you should be good uh there's some tools that you can use to help you with your communication skills so you can use uh, speech and uh, analysis apps, uh, communication, training courses, other courses out there, online forums to ask people for just uh, tips and help and uh, just uh, other other um, tools, um, tools out there. I think, I think LinkedIn, yeah, LinkedIn does have some courses that can help you with communication, but uh, I always recommend um, look at meetup.com and join an organization in your local area where you can get out in person and talk with people or just go to any interesting events that you have going on, social events uh, with Meetup, just go to them, strike up new conversations, talk with the host, get familiar with the host. That's another way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and now we're in the story portion and I'll go ahead and read the story. So this is Amar, a young professional in West Africa, face faced a significant challenge in her career. While she was knowledgeable in her field, her communication skills were holding her back from advancement. She often felt anxious during meetings and had trouble articulating her ideas effectively. Determined to overcome this obstacle, Amara started practicing communication strategies like active listening, participating in local speaking clubs, and seeking feedback from colleagues. Over time, her confidence and communication skills improved dramatically leading to a promotion and greater success in her career. Mars story illustrates the transformative power of dedicated communication skills. So if you just keep practicing your communication skills, you're going to get there, but you do have to take the first step. So just take the first step. And from there, you just only on the place to go is up. So just to recap uh, of this video, uh, practicing communication skills, just essential for personal and professional growth. Uh, key strategies, just active listening, uh, joining speaking clubs, uh, daily conversations, video recording, role playing, seeking the feedback. So if you do all that stuff every day, you just try to work on it as much as possible. It's not going to take you long before you become really good. And then people are going to start thinking, oh, you're a natural at this. And inside of your head, you're just like, no, 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 just practice. So that's all it is. Um, if you have your own ways of uh, developing your communication skills, or if you've been in that point, you've been in at some point in your life you didn't know how to speak well and now you do uh, then definitely share what you did in the comment section down below so you can also help other people uh, develop their communication skills 
And uh, if this video, if you learned a lot from this video, if this video was helpful, it offered you some value, then uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, click the bell so that you're alerted when I do drop new videos, and also look at this video's description. I am a business coach. I help uh, solopreneurs, small business owners, novice entrepreneurs start businesses that can sell and also to help them attain the lifestyle that they want, uh, travel whenever they want. If they want to visit their parents back home, they're able to do that just because they have the right business set up. So you can look in this video's description, look at some ways that I can help you get started if you're ready to take that first step. So appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.